Tommy Adewumi is one of the most talented chess players right now, defeating almost anyone who comes in his way at only 8 years old. But regardless of his extreme talent at destroying his opponents, Tommy was about to face his strongest opponent yet. This is Hikaru, 5-time US World Champion and Twitch streamer, and though Tommy has faced other Twitch streamers, this one is much more dangerous, being one of the best chess players in the world. Tony starts by moving his pawn to e4, a move he has played countless times and is very familiar with. Hikaru responds with his pawn to c5, going for the Sicilian defense. And after playing a couple developing moves, the game turns into a pretty standard position with Tani's knights on c3 and d4 and Hikaru's knights on c6 and f6, with his bishop on g7 eyeing the diagonal. Tani thinks for some time before playing bishop c4, getting ready to castle his kingside. Hikaru castles, and Tani moves his bishop back, which Hikaru attacks with knight a5. Here, Hikaru and Tani are completely equal, with Tani being slightly better. This would not last long, though. Tani lifts his queen one square, preparing to trade off Hikaru's bishop after attacking it on h6. Hikaru here decides to look for an attack of his own, playing his pawn to b5. While Tani should castle here, he instead goes for pawn to f3, defending his e4 pawn, but making his king a little less safe. Thankfully for Tani, Hikaru here proceeds to play a huge mistake, e5, which allows Tani to win a pawn, after trading the bishops and knights. Tani decides to take the pawn on b5, and after a bishop and knight trade on b3, Hikaru makes another mistake. Knight e4. While this move doesn't look bad as, after check, it wins back material, the position will end up with a better position for Tawny after pawn to g3, forcing a trade and winning a pawn. But unfortunately, Tani doesn't find this, and instead plays his to knight f2, allowing Hikaru to attack Tani's queen, forcing it to move. Looking a little unconfident, here Tani moves his queen to d5, a move that does practically nothing. This move, while it may not look like much, pretty much dooms Tani's position. As Hikaru attacks one of Tani's pawns with his rook, Tani defends this in the worst way possible. Tani had just blundered his rook, and with a look of embarrassment, briefly considers resigning before confidently continuing by taking Hikaru's pawn on d6. Hikaru continues the game by playing rook c2, threatening a checkmate in 2 on f2, which Tawny defends with knight e4. Tawny is just desperately trying to hold on, hoping to beat Hikaru on the clock. But unfortunately, Hikaru is too fast and too strong, and after following up with attacking Tawny's queen, Tawny decides to give his queen up with a trade.
Bunny's Night, Hikaru ends the game with a brutal rook checkmate, resulting in a win for the professional streamer. But while Tani did lose this match miserably, he would, after a few years, go on to defeat Hikaru not once, but twice, ending his win with a brutal queen e8 check, which after Hikaru moves his king, Tani would play rook f7, winning Hikaru's queen. And while Hikaru is still clearly the much stronger player, Tani is still improving, beating everyone with a dream to reach world champion.